We've just stopped in Broken Hill for a night to resupply and there's another big thing. The big end! The big end! And we now have bought out Coles and Woolworths out of all of the gluten free wraps. All of them. All of them. <laughs> and Violet's. You guys had fun because there was a bouncy pillow at oh, the... Oh yeah, there was a massive bouncy pillow. That was really fun. The only thing that wasn't fun is that it only opened at 9 o'clock. Oh, so you had to wait a little bit. Oh well. And it was a cold morning. It was a very cold morning this morning in Broken Hill. <laughs> yeah. Felt like 5? Felt like 5. Yeah. Felt like 2. Oh. And what was the... So, another day in the saddle. Haha. <laughs> in the pack saddle. Pack saddle row house. On the road to Tipper Bar. We're not going to quite get that far. We're going to Milparinka tonight. Again, on the weird things you see on the side of the road. It's a tall tree. It's. What is it, Marco? A tall tree, it says on the sign. A tall tree? Why? Don't know. Please don't water, apparently. A baby tool tree. A baby tool tree, but don't water it. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Weird things you see on the side of the road. Who, who's tall? Just. Oh! Don't Violet wins. Just. By, by, by a centimetre. Four o'clock in the afternoon and we've hit Milparinka. 1880. Who would come out here in 1880? Who knows? That's a really good question, right? No. People back then didn't have seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. This is Milparinka. Used to be a township of 700 people or so, apparently. Old cells for the police station. We've got the old courthouse. And of course, there's a pub over here. Always. Apparently, this catered for the gold fields. Oh, there's the cells. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time In Milparinka there's all these great displays been put together by volunteers with money from the government of course All about the history of the area Sturt we explored through this whole area. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same. And Hello say, guys. say guys thank you for the thank you for the fly fly nets, gummer. Thank, thank you for, for the fly nets, gummer. Violet, thank you. Thank you. Cool. So we're on the Granite Nature Trail, which is just outside of Tipperbara, which is our lunch stop today. Kids and mum have all got the fly nets on because the flies are a bit of a pest. We're just walking around all this interesting landscape. Granite tours everywhere. Granite mounds. Go for a post-lunch walk. Burn off the tandoori chicken. And uh, 
see what we can see. Close by to the granite tours, we have the Golden Gully mining site, which we're going to go and have a look at, aren't we, Micah? Yep. Hey guys, what did we just spot on the side of the road? An eagle! An eagle! A massive wedge-tailed eagle, but I didn't get it on the film because I was too busy screaming, Oh my god, it's an eagle! <laughs> oh, this, one, this one, this one, this oh, one! No. I've succumbed to the fly netting, little buggers. We're in corner country. Um, we didn't quite make it to Cameron's Corner today. Uh, talking to some people that have been through here. Basically they told us this campground would give us more protection than the campground at Cameron's Corner, which is pretty much bare. So we're out on the lake bed again. I've got the family with me today. Dragged them off the iPads. It is just so green out here. We're at the corner of, or well, very close to the corner of New South Wales, Queensland and South Australia. But you still get this greenery. And the lake is Lake Pinaroo. Pro tip number three. Um, always bring a fly net out here near Cameron's Corner. There are thousands of flies. It is so annoying. We've just read a sign and that just along here is actually an old fence from a while back to keep stock in. Hello, we see a roo. Finally, before that, we haven't seen any animals. Uh, we saw lots of birds. Yeah, we saw lots of birds. Not really interesting. <laughs> they were having a giant bird race. Flies are crazy here. If you saw Mum and Micah's pro tip, number three, you would know that not to go here if you hate flies a lot. Another day, another big thing. This time we have the big crawl in the yet violet. Give it a hug. Or not. <laughs> Made out of old fencing wire by volunteers that um, help rehabilitate this area. So pretty cool. It's a big bandicoot. That looks so happy. <laughs> Two little bandicooties. <laughs> That's so <laughs> we just got him in the car and then just got him out again. And here we have the big bilby right on the border with South Australia. And this is Cameron's Corner. Not a lot here. A pub with a couple of British backpackers manning the pub. And here we go. Down the Streslecky track. Apparently it's open. Talking to people yesterday that have come through here in the last couple of days. It's in pretty good nick. But I'll let you know in a couple of hours. Anyway. See you later. Things are not the same I said we're 
between Cameron Corner and Arkaroa in the middle of nowhere like really the middle of nowhere and we set up camp just for tonight and we're going to head on down to Arkaroa it is bloody hot here and the flies are plenty yuck so we might be in the middle of nowhere but the flies have finally gone to bed and behind me, which you can't see, but it's the most amazing sunset. The moon is just a slither of a fingernail and then Venus is there. There's beautiful purples and oranges, but yeah, it's just amazing, spectacular. So I'm on the hunt for some more critter nests. Now there was one behind our camp out, but um, there's not enough light there now to be able to see it. So I'm looking for another one, and I've just found one. Um, it's a lot bigger ah, than the one behind our camper. Um, let's have a look. Okay. So I know it's a reptile nest because of the very informative sign from the National Parks Authority that we read earlier today. Um, I'm hoping it's lizard and not snake. Uh, I can definitely see some track marks around it. So there are some track marks. I'm hoping that's not snake. I'm hoping that's just lizard tail. But let's not tell the kids. Okay. <laughs> Bye.